guys. <laughs> Hi y'all. I'm still I'm still not well, but I wanted to do this video on Tuesday of last week, but I was starting to feel the feels of what the flu and I didn't get it done. So I want to talk to you guys about things that I fit feel were like my favorite things this month that got me through cuz this month was shady. Like I did not I did not appreciate all of January. Like girl, this is my second time getting sick and the worst time too. Um but I wanted to talk to some talk through some things that have been like clutch list for me that I think is worth trying if you haven't and some things that I'm looking forward to trying in the next month and, get, and reporting back to you at the end of February but um yeah point blank period let me just run through this real quick so last week Saturday we went to go visit Carlos's mom and her roommate and then I also hung out with um my friend Choi was up here for his birthday we hung out for an hour or so in the city and then um what's it called and then my hair styles were rain her her mother had a birthday party here we live in the same building but um was hanging out with them for a little bit but i saw several people on saturday okay sunday rolls around carlos's mom is complaining about not feeling well they do a covid test she's negative the next day, her roommate starts complaining about not feeling well. They test her. She's positive. I'm like, oh, shit. Monday, I started feeling a little funny. Not going to lie, but I was just like, mm, maybe it's just like I was outside a little bit too much on Saturday with not the best amount of layers on, and it was freezing on Saturday, so maybe, you know? And then the next day, Mama Cella tests positive for COVID. So Tuesday, I'm running around the city. I'm like, uh, let me get a medicine ball from Starbucks because I feel a little, feel like a cold is coming on or something. And now I'm nervous because Chella got COVID. And I like spent time with both of them. And then, boom, Wednesday comes. I'm like really struggling to get through the day. I had to take a break to edit a 30 minute video, which technically most of the time, for me, I can get through a video very quickly when I'm editing it for YouTube I had to take a break and take a nap and I was like shit man I need this this is bad this is bad and I kept testing myself for COVID I was negative so then finally I, I posted the video from Wednesday and I went to the clinic got tested for RSV flu COVID again and they found out I have flu B I don't know who flu B is but if, if flu B was a person I would have rolled up to her crib and beat her ass on sight. I would have went to jail over flu ends of bee because my skin felt like it was falling off. My bones felt great. Like I've been limping since Wednesday. My hips feel crazy. I feel like I have a constant Charlie horse throughout my entire body. The dizzy spells, the coughing, the coughing with nothing coming up. And it's just like feeling in, like unsatisfied with every cough, right? The most uncomfortable situation ever and I felt like this before when I had COVID so that's why I was really scared that I had COVID and then I found out Lorraine has COVID I'm like so Lord spared me because I am not good with COVID last time I had COVID I had to go on a heart monitor situation because my heart was having palpitations after getting better like basically long covid symptoms and stuff like watching me for clots all these things it was really scary so i just feel like i'm about tired of covid trying to get me and i feel that i am susceptible to it whereas carlos has never had covid never have covid my dad hasn't had COVID. i just feel like you know what i think it is i think people that smoke weed i feel like they don't get sick as much and it's not like I'm going to consider smoking. Like I can't, I'm not, a, I cannot, I'm not a smoker. I don't drink, you know, I shop. Okay. That's my vice. That's my thing. But I really feel like people who smoke weed don't experience sickness a certain way. Like I just don't get anyway, but yes, I bet they gave me antivirals. I felt like that shit does not work, but today's the first day I'm feeling good. And it's like the fourth day of medicine. I've been taking mucinex, sore throat, soothing comfort lozenges, recolor lozenges. 
I had to take Tylenol a few times just to get rid of the pain. They gave me Tylenol at the clinic um, to deal with my pain and my back aches and it helped a little bit. And I've just been drinking non-stop liquids, fluids, water, orange juice, um, AG1 greens for the clutch. If you like stuff that tastes like diet or like, like what's it called? Artificial sweetened. You you will not mind the taste of AG1. I do not like the taste of AG1, but I do feel very strong when I drink it. It, it makes me feel fulfilled. It makes me feel balanced. Today, I really feel the effects of the AG1 greens this morning, and I drank it with orange juice, and it was still terrible. Oh, my God, so nasty. But um, dealing with that, I try to take these vitamin C packs, but they make me nauseous as hell. I need to figure out how to do that better. And then what else have I I've been taking? Lots of tea. A lot of hot tea. A lot, a lot of hot tea. Um, and just eating raw vegetables, honestly, like cucumbers and salad. And then I also have been eating a lot of berries and oranges and stuff. So, you know, sometimes acidic food like citrus food isn't good but i wasn't feeling soreness throat so it wasn't affecting me and i just feel like it's it's just helping me stay um hydrated and then i had the humidifier on 24 7 with the eucalyptus oil in there as well and obviously vix i've been taking epsom salt baths all the things all the things all i know is that i feel like i'm finally seeing the light at the end of the tunnel with this knock on wood and I just want to get back into the real life because I still haven't got my nails done. If I showed you my, listen, they look crazy. I'm telling you right now, it's crazy out here. And these, oh God, I need to stop talking so hard. I'm getting dizzy again. But anyway, I wanted to talk to you guys. Obviously, I've been talking. I'm, I don't like not being able to create and flowing like I normally do. But can we talk about some of my... January favorites like I've been had these notes since like two weeks ago the first thing actually it's not it's not in any order of like on it like from scaling from one to ten what's best or whatever but I feel like that banana republic trench coat has been clutch shout out to Shenley again to buying that in the first place and going through her wardrobe and editing her wardrobe with her Seeing that she influenced me. That coat is bad. I love that coat. I've been wearing that coat non-motherfucking stop. Okay? I love that coat. That coat is clutch. I will say it's not the warmest of coats. But I bought it an extra large. So I wear it with layers. And tons of sweaters and layers on. Um, but y'all need to get into that coat if you haven't. I'll definitely drop the link for everything that I'm going to mention today. The other thing that's been saving my bony little ass... Are those like Timberland fleeced line tights and leggings? Y'all. Okay. I have several pairs of them. My mom got them for me years ago. Any type of legging with the fleece line, especially in New York, and now, now it wants to be true winter, right? This is the time for it. It just layers nicely, and I feel like I like wearing a lot of baggier clothes, so it, it it does work seamlessly. I feel like if you're gonna wear something that's a little bit more closer to the body, get a tight, like a full tight, not the legging, because that way, you know, it won't scrunch up as you're putting it on, unless you're gonna like grab the fabric with your, to <laughs> with your toes and hold it there as you're putting on the pants, but I feel like they're clutch, so if you live in a cold climate space, state or city those fleece line leggings and tights are going to become clutch oh my gosh this i've been wearing this kiff hat so when my cousin my cousin noelle and her fiance came into town at the end of december her birthday's december 29th we went into Kith because they have a new women's store that used to be the old atrium store that I worked at. I love it, okay? So we went in there. It's a beautiful layout. Oh my God, the Kith women's store is amazing. I love it there. It has a cafe in the back. It has a florist in the back. It's so beautiful and dope. But they had this green shearling 
bucket head just chilling on the shelf and I was like that's interesting and when I tell you I've been wearing this non-stop non-stop it keeps me so warm so warm and the I went in there again to get a pair of uh, biker shorts that I saw and I was wearing the hat and the girls in the store they were like you know what we never really seen anyone rock this hat and we weren't really feeling it now okay I get it this hat is actually cute and like I you know wearing it with my hair out all the time and I just feel like it's such a clutch hat. I've been wearing the shit out of that hat. It's so good. I love it. I feel like I make it go with everything. Like, I don't care that it's green. They should have made this in so many other colors. Somebody please tell them. I should tell. I should just be like, Sharifa, can y'all, can you tell the people upstairs at Kiff Women's? Make this in a few more colors, please. In some neutral tones, because we need it. So, one thing I've been doing differently, I rearranged my schedule this year to like reflect themed days because I have my hands in so many different compartments all the time whether it's content creation or um, overseeing Noir Bud or consult image consulting all this stuff I have themed days so now like for example Mondays are YouTube days like I film my YouTube videos those days or I planned on it because I didn't do it this week and then I edit it Tuesday is a noir but focus day so anything having to do with, to do with labeling packaging marketing all the things that happens on those days then when uh, what's it called Wednesday it's like a whole admin day for everything sending out invoices all that stuff Thursday is a short form video focused day. Okay, all the batching that goes into that. And then Friday is a client day, like consulting. I do client consulting also on Tuesdays, but Fridays is a bigger, like the whole day is designated to it. And I don't want to work on the weekends. I don't want to do anything on the weekends because I feel like I need to make some sacred time for myself and have it more than just one day. I need two days back to back to really reset. So I feel like the themed days are a lot more productive and just purposeful. And I want to continue that. The only things that I really want to do on the weekend are like prepping for the week ahead in the sense of like mental outfits, stuff like that. And I also want to work out on Saturday mornings again. Um, obviously, yes, work out during the week, but like I want to have a Saturday kind of theme in the city where like I go get my workout in go get my nails done or go get like a lunch by myself do a little you know what I'm saying like just enjoy New York a lot more in that way in areas that don't get so crowded on the weekends but yeah theme days is definitely something for me I've been really enjoying the fact that the sun is not setting before like 4 or 5 p.m. anymore because childish shit is depressing um oh my god i wanted to talk to you guys about a couple products that are new to me and some products that have been saving my face okay the newer products that i've been using that were sent to me as gifts so ysl beauty sent the all hours what is it precise angles concealer I don't know how they got my color to match so spot on out of like the three questions that they asked me on that thing. But this right here is so smooth. It's very like I feel like it's a full coverage um, and it matches my skin tone. It doesn't feel like anything's going on my skin like it's very thin and I really really have been enjoying this. I feel like I'm back in my college days when I would literally just put concealer here, here, and here and I'll be good to go. It's giving those types of vibes. I really like this concealer so much. The other thing that they sent was um, these mini uh, like eyeshadow pouches. The one I've been using the most is Colorway 200. I know this had a different name on it, but the I, the boxes I don't have anymore. So it comes with these shadow colors, and you all know how I like those red color eyeshadows. And I feel like this is the perfect mix of them. It's so good. 
I've been wearing them non-stop and I even like the little the little sponge tool and the little brush that it came with um, because I feel like it does get that line around here that I really just want to get with the reddish shadow it gets it lined up pretty nicely and they sent this colorway too I haven't really tried it yet it's more like the beiges and stuff like that I know my nails look crazy I plan on getting my nails done but you know what I'm also not gonna do anymore not that I'm not okay so y'all know how I like to do the 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 outfit planning a week in advance or like I posted the Sunday before the week. I'm doing it after the week happens. Because I feel like the last few times I've done what I wear, what I'm wearing this week, and all the plans I have for all those outfits, they go swinging out the door, and something happens drastically, and I feel like somebody's hexing me. And you know what? The last few times, that's all right. God going to get you. Keep trying to hex me. It's not going to work anymore. Because what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do it after the fact. Y'all going to see the outfits. So I want to do it where I plan the outfits in advance. But the video comes out after that week. And also what's included in the video is me at the places or doing the things that I'm supposed to be doing in those outfits. Because y'all remember that whole brown outfit I had to go to dinner with my friend Cassie and Christian? Well, obviously, I had to cancel because I'm sick. And that outfit didn't get to see the light of day. So now, I'm not jinxing my outfits. We're going to do it after. Because somebody out there is hexing me and they're definitely not a cookie. Anyway. So, oh, oh, and then also, um, what's this brand? Oh, my God. Westman Atelier sent this uh contour stick in color ganache i didn't know that was a name that's a nice name um first of all they sent this to me last month and my build the building that i have an office in they kept it in their mail room since last month so i look like an asshole and I'm over here thinking the whole time Westman Artillery never sent anything. Like, they asked me for my address. I was like, okay, maybe they, you know, they had to go with someone else gifting something. I don't know. Like, I don't take offense when I don't see anything come to my mailbox after someone says they're sending me something. I don't take no offense. I'm like, okay. It was there the whole time. Oh, my God. Thank you, Westman Artillery, for sending this. I love this contour. I've been using the Makeup by Mario contour stick and I, that is still, I love it too. But I like this, how it glides. It's, it's giving. It's, re it's really giving. And that's a dark color too. And I'm, I, I feel like a lot of people do go pretty dark when it, this is really beautiful packaging. Um, I feel like people go really dark with their contour sticks and colors and I feel like I kind of play it safe and keep it like more in the red zone for myself and this just made me realize I can go darker I can go darker um but yeah so that was one thing out of the makeup stuff let me for skincare hold please okay so with skincare, I'll probably put it in a flashback moment here, but uh, 10 days ago, probably, maybe less, I had really bad scarring here. I had about three, four cystic pimples with a mean irrigation system in under my skin. Okay, and I was like, this is going to scar up. I even had a scar somewhere around here. But anyway, since... That video, my skin is cleared up. And I have been using this stuff for the last year or so. Whenever it came out, it, as soon as this thing came out, Pharmacy did a really good job promoting this. Because as soon as it came out, I bought it. Hadn't tried it, didn't know anybody else had tried it. But I was like, I'm pulling up, I need this. So this is their Brighten Up 3% TXA Dark Spot Toner with Alizelic acid and PHA. Listen, it's a spot, dark spot toner. 
and literally I use just a little bit of it um, and I just dab it on my skin from time to time I'll do my entire face but for the most part I'm going in just where the spots are are going nuts right I've had it for maybe over a year and I think the liquid the liquid is here now so it goes a long way and I literally you just put and I put it on my finger I put it on the just a little bit it doesn't have like a um, slimy effect but I just put it on those spots and literally they lighten up so typically my spots take like maybe six months to, to disappear or to like lighten up or go away my dark spots are pretty like they're lethal in a way where they they make a spot and they're there and I find that ever since I've been using this pharmacy dark spot remover my spots eliminate so much faster within like two weeks I see a major difference in how harsh a spot looks on me and I love that stuff I really love that stuff I would have like sometimes I have marks here for my glasses I put it there lightens it up but it doesn't make me a shade lighter it just takes care of that hyperpigmentation so highly highly suggest another thing that i feel makes my acne whenever i do have breakout um makes it go smoother makes it go way quicker lightens brightens tightens my skin i feel like i'm very dull looking without this this product but epilogic its master plan has been in my my cabinet since i found out about this brand okay um it is a pricey it's a pricey tube it does last about 60 days i think 60 a little bit more one two pumps put it into my skin my neck the back of my hands all of it just let it dry down and i feel like my skin looks so healthy I remember when I first started using this, this um got this friend of ours, Carlos's friend was like, Is Caroling aging backwards? Like what's going on? I'm like, well, you know black don't crack, honey. But it does. Black does be black do be cracking, okay? But I feel that this has been a saving grace, not only for my acne, but just the overall vibrance of my skin and I haven't had a facial in almost a year and yes like it's I don't have the most clearest skin as far as like spotless right but I have healthy skin and I really think it's to totally due to this particular product from Epilogic so read into the ingredients see if it's a good fit for you because I know there's certain things that I can't use like I can't use anything with rose hips in it I don't know why just my skin says girl get that off my face and then it births another human somewhere on my face the other thing that's been saving my skin as far as moisture is concerned like I have oily skin um combo skin but I hate feeling dry and like our moisture our moisture drops significantly especially in the winter time um so I'm not going to sit here and be like, oh, let me just go ahead and be dry and ashy because I'm already oily. No, I don't. Mm -mm. I'm going to use the oils and all this stuff. I use oils on my face, but I use Weleda Skin Food on my skin at nighttime, especially because it's so dry in our apartment. But I feel like this just enriches my skin so much by the next day. Even today, I'm actually wearing it for the daytime because I woke up feeling a little, ugh, a little and i don't like that feeling because i've just been drinking so much water this humidifier is going on at all times like i live for this skin food and i think especially in the days i've been doing my no makeup makeup which i have been doing a lot um prior to me getting sick this week i use skin food as my moisturizer base and i feel that my skin looks a lot more dewy and glass like and healthier and more skin like even though I'm wearing a bit of makeup you get what I mean okay I could do a little show and tell so wish list 
wish wish list i feel like this isn't focus stop it wish list update i got something knocked off the wish list and i got it knocked out with two pieces because they were a sale they were on sale and for the price of one that i had a budget fixed out for i got two pairs okay so i went to bergdorf for tea with my friend crystal and after she had left, I was still kind of lingering in the store. Of course, why wouldn't I? Because I'm a shopaholic. And I went to the second floor shoe department. And they have a whole sale rack situation going on in there, right? And I was rummaging around and I found these. And I texted my SA Jerry to see if she could find the other half for me. And when I was waiting for her to um, get them... I did a bit of research online like are these like online they weren't even on Birdor's website so I was like oh these are like must be a really old style and then I looked around and they have this style on other websites but for full price for like I think 12 something I needed a pair of black pumps just basic lady like heels and I found these Aquazora pumps with the little ankle strap which is really it makes me feel even more dainty and so cute and chic and how much are they 286 she said girl these are 286 dollars i said wait really so immediate immediate purchase i said go ahead and ring up i might be a little ashy but Oh my goodness. Do you see? Ah! I probably look crazy. I probably look crazy, but look, they're just so good. They're such a clean, grown woman shoe. Right? Oh. And they were on sale for $286. Can you believe it? Does it have the regular? So it's so funny because on here it says $8.95, then it went down to $5.37, and then it went down to $3.58, and then $2.98. But online, they're over a thousand. So I'm glad. Shout out to Jerry for finding those for me. And then let me show you the other pair. Cause these were on sale and I said, I need those. They're so pretty and they make me happy. Also, a black pump, very ladylike, but they do have a lot of va va voom and zoom zoom zoom. Can we get into? Look at the heel. Look at the heel. Look at the rhinestone. So it does have that, that, uh, PVC material in there and then it has the net coasting over it with the rhinestones. Oh, they're so pretty, y'all. I said, and it's been a while since I've had gotten anything from like Mew Mew. I, I used to wear a lot of Mew Mew shoes. Um, oh, they're so good. Oh, they're yummy. I love these. They're so beautiful. I love them. So, knock that off my wish list. And it was so fun because as I was waiting for the Aquazuras to deliver, um, one of my cookies on Instagram who works at Prada sent me pictures of these satin Prada pumps that are coming out. And they're actually in red. And I was like, I really like those and he was like they haven't gotten to the store yet but I remember you talking about you wanted a pair of pumps you should consider these and I was just like oh okay but I just knocked this out and you know what this wish the wish list and my no buy list has really been keeping me accountable because when I'm buying something outside of that realm or not when I'm buying something that's on my no buy list I'm like super hesitant like, it takes me days to just be like, okay, you know, no, I can't do it. I can't do it. Or when I bought that jacket, I was like, okay, since I wanted that camel coat and I bought this Banana Republic coat, 
I can't get the camera coat until maybe the next, at the end of the year, I have to consider it. But I can't get it. And I've been sticking to that. Another thing I did, I bought a coat and I said, if I love it, I'm going to keep it. But I'm going to sell this other coat that really reminds me of it. But I just feel like this is a little bit more of an upgrade for me if I keep this coat. But I've been sticking to this like, if it's not on the wish list, it can't be considered. If it's on the no buy list, what are we even doing talking about it? And I feel like I've been having a really good internal conversation with myself since I created these lists and also took into account how much my wish list costs and how many other things that I, I want to do this year as far as like, you know, uh, what's it called? Like getting a new apartment or saving up money for certain things or paying off certain things like I have a lot of different goals and I feel like if I step out of bounds at all it just it's going to take me far away from completing those things and I need to be way more harder on myself when making decisions when it comes to money because I, I'm not I'm not really feeling myself if I look and reflect back on the last two years of how I did things so I feel like I'm very happy that I sat down and, and said to myself what I can and cannot buy this year and why, how well I need to stick to it. And I feel like some of my clients, some of my friends, they like sending me stuff. And I'm just like, y'all really disrespected me because I said this is not this is not on my wish list. This is not something that's on my radar. Like, stop trying to distract me. Like, y'all have got to respect people's boundaries and their like their goals or how they want to obtain them and not show them things that would actually distract them so yes i'm yelling right at y'all stop sending me things that are not on my wish list get it for yourself or someone else leave me alone i don't want to be tempted i'm trying my best to be good to me and y'all cannot be doing that to people it's so distracting stop it stop it but I might consider those pumps from Prada. Because I don't. I don't know. I don't know. Something might have to come off the wish list for it to be considered actually. That's that's what's going to have to happen. That's what's going to have to happen. Yeah. Anyway. I hope y'all have a great week. I'm going to try and create a video on Wednesday but, Wednesday, but I will tell you this. I have no energy, okay? I'm surprised I even got enough energy to put the camera up right here and to show you these beautiful things. But um, I have so many B, so much B-roll or like footage from this month that I feel like when I put it all together, it's not going to make sense. But it is going to be a little vlog that I'm going to try my best to make sense and put together for Wednesday. So we have something that day. But I I feel like I wanted to make sure I had something on today. Because I want to push through. I want to be unapologetically me and do everything that I said I'm going to do again this year. I did that last year. I want to do it this year. The fact that I got myself out this house on Thursday feeling like death was right on my neck. Okay? And did that photo shoot with Chamel in the city. And I was in Fidei. Okay. And looking like nothing was wrong. And then sitting at the end of the table. At the end of my shoot crying. Okay. I can do everything through Christ. And I wanted to get this done. Because I'm like no. This is the video I had in mind for Sunday. I may not look the way that I want to look. But I want my. I want the, the concepts. And the execution to be not on any delay okay so I hope to God I'm better this week and that I can actually start executing all these ideas and things that I have in mind that I have not been able to do all this month because January has been shitty shitty with some really amazing highlights but like it held me back on so many different fronts that I I'm at the point where once February 1 hits, if something tries to distract me or delay anything that I have in mind for myself, I'm t I swear to God, I'm, I'm sick of this. I'm sick of this. And I feel like a lot of people are experiencing this. 
yeah no nah, i'm at the point try to derail universe not even you devil try to derail my point my plans i'm gonna knock your front teeth out i'm sick of this i just want to live my life i want to get my things done i want to do things that i said i was gonna do i don't want any more setbacks oh my gosh like i really hope god just be like okay yeah, I just wanted you to lay down for, for January. I just wanted you to take a beat for January. Here we go. Guns blazing. Hit the, hit the ground running in February and don't look back. Because I'm tired of sitting this out. Excuse me. Anyway, guns blazing February 1. And for the end of February, I want to give y'all feedback on this printer that I got from Amazon. It's like this really cute looking printer. It like, has a little okay and also i want to try the new face for like days in a row straight to really tell you how i feel about it and just anything else that really brings my february to life and giving y'all feedback on it yeah that's what i want to do but thank y'all for watching this episode i know i don't look normal i just wanted to feel slightly normal today and do something that i love and tap in with my favorite community um and just share this stuff with y'all so tell me what you think what are your thoughts have you tried this stuff that i talked about today what are your thoughts on it um but yeah have a really great productive week and if you're feeling sick like me we're gonna get through this we're gonna get through this together okay just let's just keep drinking your liquids okay and get a whole lot of rest but i'm gonna tell you right now i'm sick of i'm sick of this bed <laughs> i'm sick of watching tv i am so, the Lord going to come through for me and get me all the way together. I'm, I'm going to feel 80% by tomorrow. I've decided. I've decided. Okay? I'll see y'all later. See y'all on Wednesday. Bye, cookies. <laughs>